Unmanned aerial vehicles play an increasingly important role in modern combat situations. But while these machines are transforming military operations today, they are not entirely new inventions. During World War II, the U.S. military conducted some of its first experiments with UAVs. One of the earliest attempts, codenamed Operation Aphrodite, involved taking war-weary bombers, stripping them of all unnecessary weight, and loading them to capacity with explosive material. Two volunteer pilots then flew the aircraft to 10,000 feet and bailed out after an operator in a follow plane had taken over flight control via a remote setup. Essentially turning the aircraft into a crewed drone, the operator flew the bomber into Nazi territory and crashed it into the target. But while Operation Aphrodite seemed like a viable plan, the bombers proved extremely difficult to control, and it was eventually canceled after multiple unintentional crashes and the deaths of several U.S. pilots, one of whom was Joseph P. Kennedy Jr., the elder brother of future President JFK. Throughout the Cold War, the pressing need to break the veil of secrecy surrounding communist nations was balanced by a deep concern over losing pilots in hostile territory. As a result, one of the first operational photo reconnaissance UAVs to emerge during the era was the Ryan Aeronautical Model 147 Lightning Bug. Developed off the company's Firebee target drone, the Lightning Bug was air-launched from a Lockheed DC-130. After making its first flight over Communist China on August 20, 1964, the Lightning Bug went on to play an important intelligence-gathering role in the Vietnam War. Flying a total of more than 3,000 highly classified missions over Southeast Asia, The introduction of the Pioneer in the mid-1980s marked yet another major step in UAV development. Used in the 1991 Gulf War, the Pioneer provided real-time reconnaissance and surveillance information to troops in combat, as well as target acquisition information for battleships off the coast. During the final week of the Gulf War, one group of Iraqi soldiers signaled their intention to surrender to a Pioneer flying overhead marking the first time in history that men surrendered to a machine. More recently, the application of UAVs has expanded to include armed variants. In 2002, the U.S. military began using MQ-1 Predators equipped with Hellfire missiles as part of Operation Iraqi Freedom. Five years later, the MQ-9 Reaper conducted its first combat mission in the Middle East. Today, future applications are rapidly evolving. This includes broader weaponization of the existing fleet, greater usage of increasingly smaller drones, and the development of autonomous technologies, such as the Army-led Future Vertical Lift Program and the Air Force's Next Generation Bomber Program, both of which are capable of flying without a remote pilot. <laughs> 